Hey there YouTube and what's going on? Welcome to the first ever video of the new series how to rank up in Rocket League or rather how to get diamond in the 2v2 or 3v3 playlist. So with my 200 plus hour experience in Rocket League as well as being diamond for the past three months in the 2v2 playlist, there's one thing I've noticed players who are below diamond including plat threes do struggle with and that is their power, that is their powerful shots and power clearances. Now in today's YouTube video I'll be explaining to you a simple technique that can help you become a little bit more consistent with your power shots and your, and your power clearances. This technique is known as the ground pinch or rather the half volley. Now, in simple terms, what you'd want to do is that whenever you have the space and the time to hit the ball and you notice the ball is dropping to the ground, I suggest you rather do be patient with the ball and rather hit the ball immediately after the ball bounces for a ground pinch or slightly one second after the ball bounces. Now, the simple science behind this is that as the ball is dropping, the ball will have momentum and as you are approaching the ball, you'll also have momentum. So if you flip into the ball the moment the ball hits the ground or a second after it hits the ground, you'll simply be taking your momentum, adding it with the momentum the ball has, has and directing it towards the goal or directing it towards whichever part of the field you want to clear the ball towards. And I'm sure by now in other tutorials you've heard how in the lower ranks putting a shot on target be it a fast shot or a slow shot always has a 60% chance of going in. So why not increase your chances by using a very reliable technique. So with these techniques you may find that your powerful clearances may end up as counter attack assists as we do see in this situation right here. Or from now on, whenever you do set up a power shot for yourself, you'll notice that hitting the ball just one second after it bounces makes it harder for the opponent to predict the trajectory and the height of the ball. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that my explanation was clear on both techniques and at first, getting the timing right will be a little bit difficult, but as time goes on, you will understand how to hit the ball. And I suggest spending time in free play so that you do get used to your car's hitbox and you realize which part of the car has a stronger hit. So, you'd want to apply the half volley or the ground pinch with the part of the, your car which gets the hardest amount of power on the ball. Just to, you know, give your opponent a little bit of a surprise or make it as hard as possible for them to predict or get to the ball. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's tutorial. But in the next coming videos, I will be coming back with more and more useful tips and tricks on how to better apply yourself on the pitch, as well as good mental tips and tricks on how to, you know, play around toxicity and avoid it because you do play very, very bad when you are tilted. And yeah, just to make sure you don't miss out in the future posts, make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell. And we are on the road to 220 subscribers before I will do a PS4 item rocket league giveaway and I will be giving away 50 credits to one lucky subscriber. So just make sure to subscribe and join the Discord in the link in the description below, or just comment asking for the link in case I don't put it in the description. Peace.